Hello, Twitch. Hello, Twitch. Why are you over here, camera? I, I don't know why you're over there, camera. Welcome in, everyone. Uh, oh, hey, double music. That's probably not good for you folks. There we go. Now we got the audio fixed. Hey, Lin J. Welcome in, Darth. Welcome in, car guy. Uh, no dinner command tonight. I tried to put that in the Discord and the Twitter, but I'm gonna be doing chicken pot pies tonight. Or chicken pot pie? Pies? I haven't quite figured that one out yet. Um, might be just one large pie. I think I might just do one large chicken pot pie tonight. Appreciate y'all joining in with me tonight. Uh, the reason the dinner command is not working tonight is because my main PC or my living room PC that I do all my normal daily stuff on. This is my old one that just barely handles streaming. Uh, the one over there, I've torn it all apart. It's in pieces right now. Doing a deep clean on it. It's been almost two years since I built it. And it, 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 it needs a little attention. So, so I'm doing that right now. Really need to get into breaking down this PC here, though. Might actually end up delaying Wednesday because I really need to get into that PC. Uh, for people that don't know, I don't just stream. I record everything that I stream. And I've basically filled up my hard drive. I've had a hard drive sitting here waiting to go in there since like June or July of last year, but I, I haven't done it because the drive has been doing fine. I actually just looked at it before I started the stream today and it's like 95% full now. We, we need to move that. Um, so that's what's going on right now. I'm, I'm tearing apart computers. I'm rebuilding them, all that good jazz. Uh, yeah, so let's do some coffee and some pot pie tonight. How's everyone doing tonight? Happy, happy Monday. Start of the week for everyone. Hopefully everyone's got a first good day on, out of their work week going for them. Oh, also I'm gonna preserve these lemons. Uh, do I dare try it again? Uh, let's skip it. I, I took out the tip cup, that yeah, tip cup down in the corner because, or tip or bit or whatever cup, hype cup, that's what they call it. Uh, Cause it was just sitting there spinning and wasn't actually working before the stream started. So I turned it off. Let's see, we got some warm water, we got some coffee. Wow, why are you not warm? Empty. That's why you're not warm. So now we get to listen to the kettle warm up. That's always fun. Because I need coffee tonight.
Now it's actually heating. Uh, awesome. So we get Stream Raiders going. I sort of put a line across the top of Stream Raiders here. Oh, you can no, work for me tonight, PC, please. Um, I put a line across the top here because I decided that it's probably better to go in after these because we can get trapped in between these two walls and then they have to come after us. So I might just end up putting a killing field somewhere around here and see if we can't just stay there and do that whole thing. Music stopped. Nice just in between songs. Thank you, Linja. I'm about 140 degrees on our water. I have my kettle set to 205 degrees right now. Actually, this is darker roast. I should maybe go down a couple of degrees. Let's try doing this one 201. Because I'm used to... I'm, I, for years, have been drinking light roasts, and you want a slightly higher temperature for brewing a light roast than you do a dark roast. But for the pot pie, we have leftover chicken. Ooh, pick up some goodies. Hopefully you're not hungry. Worst way to go shopping for food. Uh, we're gonna do pot pie. I'm going to, I think I'm gonna add some mushrooms and some peas in there. Um, might do even some more potato in there in the whole stew-like mix. And uh, we got, I only ate the one chicken breast off the roast chicken, so we got basically a whole chicken there, almost a whole chicken there for our stew tonight. We'll start off by doing a sort of a bechamel cream sauce for the overall dish. Um, maybe we'll throw a little chicken stock in there, but not much. <laughs> Absolutely, Darth. It's more of a modern thing that we're getting into. I mean, it really... Like, really, in the last 20, 30 years here, there's been this explosion when it comes to fresh roasted coffee, at least here in the U.S., and therefore a good portion of the rest of the world. Um, it, it was all instant stuff before. Welcome in, Bun Buns. How you doing tonight? Happy Monday. We're just waiting one more moment. There we go. There's my kettle in the temp. Start by wetting our filter. I'm okay, Bun Buns. Feeling pretty good tonight. Actually feeling really good tonight. But just haven't gotten in anywhere today. Uh, woke up a little bit late. Oh, hey. Welcome in, everyone. I guess my alerts aren't working. Um, tore down my other computer. I was expecting to have that basically back together. I didn't even get it halfway apart. Welcome, everyone. I appreciate that raid. Do we have Galino, or do we have... I see El, El Cho's in there. Uh, I see Sarbear. I see Sheena. Welcome. There we go, there's our alert. Thank you for that raid, Colina. If I'm pronouncing that right, I apologize. I don't I don't know 100% how you pronounce your name. But welcome in everyone, thank you for that raid. Just getting started here tonight. We've got 
lemons from my backyard here to preserve a bit later. But I start my streams with the pour over. It's almost more for myself than it is trying to show off any special coffee skills, which I don't really don't really really have. Especially when, you know, I go and start pouring without even a scale underneath it so that, you know, that works really well for making sure you got a perfect pour on your cup. <laughs> what were we making tonight, Kalina? What, what, what drinks did we make? Awesome. Thank you, thank you. So I'm eyeballing my water level there. I always try and put the kettle back. I always complain to myself that I do it, but I always try and put the kettle back instead of warming up my uh, cup. make a mixed drink now that all you lovely folks are coming in here. We, we might have to, you know, completely ditch the coffee. No, that's not going to happen. Um, because I, I do have a decent little bar going on over here. It's been growing up over the years. Um, bad advice for coffee. Um, I'm, I'm going to suggest that you don't add lemons into your coffee. Uh, the, the acid with more acid. I mean, the flavors might somewhat work. I got another one for you. I think this will be a great addition to your coffee. myself and my coffee. Not too far off though. Oops, spilling my cream too. Instant Coffee is actually looking to win this week's ingredient challenge. Uh, for anyone that's new into this stream, Welcome, welcome. Hello, I'm Jason. I stream four nights a week here on Twitch, doing dinner, just food and drink. But on my Discord, we have a, oops, that wasn't the right button. There's the right button. The Discord, we have a weekly vote going where I have to use the ingredient on Wednesdays to make dinner and dessert. And so this week's battle is between instant coffee and cream cheese. So if you can imagine, you know, trying to use coffee, you can sort of put things in both uh, both sweet and savory there. And same thing for cream cheese. It's almost a little bit of an easier challenge as far as that. We've done some really, 
hard ones. We had Oreos last week and Hearts of Palm. We've done um, regular coffee. Uh, been doing these over a year. All sorts of past ingredients. So that's Wednesday's madness. Cheers, folks. Happy Monday. Awesome. Appreciate you hanging out with me. Greatly appreciate that raid. So what do we start with tonight? Am I going to start with the lemons? I think I'm going to start with the lemons tonight. We're going to start prepping these lemons. So I've already rinsed these off pretty well. But I'm going to take a good hunk off of the either ends there and take the stems off and just a little bit of butt end I'm gonna be packing these with salt to preserve them that way I can use my own lemons all year long These are Meyer lemons. I have a dwarf tree, and this is actually the largest harvest I've gotten off of it. <laughs> They're all relatively food related. They're not necessarily all English. In fact, a lot of them are not English. So, uh, sorry for you, autocorrect users. It's a cute little game that, uh, spurs a little conversation now and then. And, uh, if you're, if you're good at it, you can get a bunch of sprinkles out of it. Which, when we get to a thousand viewers, I'm gonna do another giveaway. Thank you, Bun Buns. How you doing tonight? I think you asked me how I'm doing. I don't know if I heard what, how you're doing. Don't know if you joined that one, uh, Darth. You gotta do the scramble command. First, yeah. There you go. Grats. And let's find our container of unused salt back here. buried in the back of my shelf here because it's the only one I haven't remixed. So I'm going to take each one of these, have them, and then score them in quarters.
think the scramble's on a five minute timer right now. Much like Stream Raiders, if anyone join, joins in on Stream Raiders, we do have Stream Raiders going tonight. Hey, little Miss Nikki. Don't know where I had a sort of lazy day today. I, well, I got things done. I just didn't get things done as quick as I expected to. Uh, overslept a little this morning, which was fun. That was nice. And uh, started working on taking my main PC apart and cleaning it all. And I got about halfway with that so far. I was hoping that I would have it done before I started the stream. I normally have a exclamation mark dinner command telling everyone what I do, what I'm planning for tonight. It's not working tonight because my other bot isn't active. We're on half power tonight. It's been a minute since I've worked with Juniper and food. I like Juniper and gin, but... Hey, Chef Justin. Welcome in, welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're having a fantastic night. It's not even really quite night over here yet. It'll get dark during the stream though. Thankfully we're not in that time of year where the sun's coming directly in the door, and it gets all shady in here. Mini pies. I want a mini pie. What type of mini pies we got tonight? Yeah, I'm going to take that back if it's a squash pie. Blueberry. I'm down for blueberry. Storing these in. What do I got to store these in?
Unless I got another one hidden somewhere. I thought I had another one of these jars. Guess I don't. Ah. Yes, I do have another one of those jars. I think this one might be a better fit, though. Thankfully, it's basically out of sugar in it, so I can rinse it out. Have you found me again, camera? Yeah, you did. Okay. What is that? I missed that, that last scramble. It's scrolled up too much for me now. I'm not sure what Belize is either, and I wrote the dictionary. What's Belize? I'm gonna Google it. German mushroom. Hmm. Making sure I got this jar well cleaned out for our preserved lemons. I'm not gonna bleach it and all that jazz, but we're gonna make sure and give it a good scrub. Still got a little tape scum going on here. I've used this for powdered sugar for quite a while. Still not there. Brondad. I made that on stream not too long ago. Yep, it uses salt cod, at least the way that I was taught, uh, where you gotta, you're using a very, I mean, it's salted cod. It's it's like what I'm about to do here with the lemons, but with cod. And so it required me soaking it overnight. Many will actually soak it in milk too because it'll help along that line. <laughs> so we're gonna take each of these lemons, make sure we get a nice coating of salt on them. 
and just drop them in. Oops, that one split on me. Nice. Yeah, it's one of those, I did it for, I made like almost like a charcuterie platter with it. Uh, put a bunch of uh, cut veggies and other stuff like that that you could use to pick it up. Made hummus the same night too, so it was sort of like a smorgasbord of just snacking. It's actually sort of cool because I mean that's sort of like awesome for if you're gonna go and sit in front of a computer and just hang out. <laughs> See, I'm weird about hummus, but then again, I'm pick I'm picky about my hummus. Like, I, for the most part, want to make my own hummus most of the time because all the corporate, all the uh, uh, retail ones you can find, they all taste like watered down to me. They all taste flat and. Uh, I like making it at home. I mean, it doesn't take that much. A little blend in time. Not 100% sure what all you're saying there, Gaia. That was a lot of info dumped into one message there. Nice, Darth! Once we get these all well coated in salt here, we'll. I'm debating if I want to add anything here with them. I've seen them, I actually have some in the refrigerator preserved with some chili in with them. Oh, no need to apologize. This is couldn't under couldn't follow what you're saying. How long we got our battle? Our battle is ready. Let's do our first stream readers battle of the evening here. Let's see if we can't try this. Let's see if this works. Finding good recipes without having a good understanding of which ones are going to work well for you, that's, that's, that can be a toughie. I pushed the K 
killing field too far out, so we're not really fighting under it. I don't know if we're gonna make it. I don't think we're gonna make it. I don't think we got it. Boo. Boo. Let's let's give that a second shot here. And yeah, I don't need to put my tank out there anymore. Let's go with something else here. Let's go a little more damage this time. Tried a turkey roll, but the recipe you had me had too much crumbs, so it broke down. I was forced to make two small rolls. It sounds like it, it still sort of worked. I mean, you knew what you had to do to make it work. It sounds like it was okay. Um, awesome. We got tips for places to eat in Michigan. Asian chicken dish. Nice. I'm gonna go back to doing my lemons here. I'm packing them because I cut them and so I'm not just trying to pack a ton of salt on the top of them, I'm trying to get some of it into the crevices of these so that it helps pull some of the moisture out. And what we'll see, maybe I'll leave it out here on the counter even, we'll get some moisture build up in the bottom of this jar. Sort of like a natural brine. wondering if I should actually add water to this setup or not, or if I should actually make it a full brine like the ones that I bought from the store. I'm sure the ones that I bought from the store have water with them, just add the extra weight. But... Might take a second here and do a little googling, make sure I'm all right here other than packing these with salt, which packing these with salt will be fine. And I, the technology and ideas, the way it, things should be cooked are changing so rapidly these days where you can have recipes from back in the day that aren't going to work in your air fryer or aren't going to work in your uh, immersion circulator or so the rest of the salt we're going to pour over the top here. This wasn't a measured amount of salt. If you didn't watch me pour it in here, this was just bowl of salt.
yeah, so we're okay with this like this. We're going to be regularly tossing these and making sure that they all stay coated and they will be hanging out here on the counter for about three to four weeks before they have hopefully lost a good portion of their liquid and we can throw them into the fridge and hold them in the fridge from then on. So there's our preserved lemons. Rather simple, but you can add bay leaf in there, you could add thyme in there, you could add some chili in there, uh, you could add some peppercorns in there. Get rid of that extra salt on my board. Hey SoCal, welcome in. We'll set that up there, and that'll just hang out up there. Try and remember to come back to that. And since I'm not going back to this salt for a while, we're gonna wrap this up with a little bit of packing tape. Camera's a new setup, everyone, for who hasn't been in here, but uh, just started actually last Wednesday with the new camera setup. So still some jitters in the system. We're still working out a few bugs here and there, but very happy with it so far. There's ways that I wish it could be better, but I always, I'm always wishing things could be better. <laughs> Let's start our veggies for our sauce tonight. That's a sausage. Not a hundred percent sure on that word, but I think that's a sausage. I'd be making them up. No, no. Classic Italian combination of chocolate and hazelnut.
little garlic action. Bird uh, green. See, I'm not making up words. Nice peanut. Oh, I made those back on mixer days. I did the screen printing myself on stream. Those are just cheapo tea towels that I added my own thing to. And yes, congratulations on construction work. That's always exciting getting a new project close to. Close to completion. I've actually been meaning to do a little bit more screen printing. I, I got knocked off of it when I, a year and a half ago, and I haven't gotten back to it. <laughs> um. Yeah. Hey, Miss Lisa Face. Having the right tools in the right place is a major part of it, especially for me. Like I, I've talked about this before on stream. I'm very much a person in my environment. Uh, I can be uncomfortable places just because it's an unfamiliar environment. It has nothing to do with people around me or anything like that. And so comfortable, convenient environment where things are placed where I know them. Is it a Hanks or a Goldblum night? How you doing tonight? I actually didn't leave the house today to do any shopping, so. Is there any oil left in this bottle? Not much. Guess we use a little olive oil in there. I hate these metal caps that they put on oil because there's there's several reasons I like I just like them. First off, the screw on them just doesn't work. Like you can sit here and turn this all day long, and it's not coming off. 
And so that means you have to pull this thing off. So that's that's big gripe number one. But number two is you're now sh forced to pull this thing up with a nice sharp edge on it. Just a horrible design. Dancing Banjo Night. That sounds like fun. Yeah, I gotta get on those animated emotes. I finally got my animated emotes. Um, I got I got all sorts of emotes I gotta get for you guys. Uh, I've got like two or three sub emotes. I've got four or five follower emotes. And I've got the animated ones still to do. Um, need to find myself to help me out with a couple of those. Someone to help me out with a couple of those. So we heat that up until that's nice and smoky. Meantime, we'll cut up a little carrot and, up and celery. Yeah, that doesn't seem too animated. I don't see nothing. So we got a little light smoke going there now. Throw in garlic. Close the bedroom door so we don't get any smoke alarms going off. It's already browning on me, so I'm going to add some onion in there right quick. Cut the heat down a little bit. We're still at a decent saute time, though. Games Master, welcome back in. How you doing? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, 
right on the edge of being too big for my hand to properly hold this bunch. Miss Lisa face. Yeah, we've had a nice number of people in here the last couple of nights. Actually been seeing quite a few Faces I haven't seen in a little while lately, too. That's nice, too. But I do think we're finally getting through that lull of game development. I think we're going to have an exciting year for games this year, so I think this year is going to be much better for Twitch than last year was. mushrooms. I bought these sliced. I think I'm going to just throw them in there. Wow, those are looking sort of sad for being bought yesterday. They were looking good yesterday. But those are going to lose a bunch of moisture in there. That'll be good. It'll help everything out there. We're going to need some oil, more oil in there, though, because they're going to soak up that oil, too. All right. We'll let that go for a little bit. Do we have stock right available? We have stock available. We got peas available. Let's throw a couple of these in there too, because I'm using them up. Yeah, last five minutes for, Raid, for the Raiders. Yeah, Ozzy, the. We had everyone shut down their game studios for the pandemic and so everything was either delayed or like we had like no games the last year like what do we have last year um the squid game I, I i don't know what all we had released last year some uh sort of lame Upgrades to a couple of games. <laughs> and this year, I think we're going to have all sorts of cool stuff come out. And since Twitch essentially lives off of game advertising, 
Twitch has been hurting too. Tangelo. If anyone saw the news this morning, Sony went and bought uh, Bungie. That was interesting news. Probably in the works for quite some while, and I actually I wouldn't be surprised if it was a setup where they were exploring. Activision and put that money towards the other side. Yeah, those things don't happen overnight, but at the same time, neither did the other one. I'm sure everyone in the top offices there was well aware of what was going on with Activision and Microsoft, and I'm sure they were sitting there talking to them too. Even if it wasn't a realistic thing. That's another thing that's happening here with the slowdown in the gaming industry. We've got more consolidation going on. Everyone's buying everyone when I sort of feel like the gaming industry is already a bit too consolidated. Stewie. interesting game doesn't look nearly as nice on stream that it does in person the names are much more clear on my screen than they are in the stream preview Arr, let's see here I might just try try haste this time Oh, 
we got this. We got this one. You can't move? It's all automated, so you're not... You don't need to do much. Victory. Darth getting them assists. SoCal Ozzy walking away with the scrolls with Darth. Continuing on along the top there, we're going after that gold chest. <laughs> we're centering at the bottom there, go after this big, big group. And I'm actually sort of feeling like I did last night. I'm not feeling great once again. My stomach's getting a little queasy again for some reason. So I'm gonna get myself some water. Quaker Oak guy. I don't know what it's trying to find over there on the shelf. But the AI thinks there's another person over there on the shelf, I think. Super size paladin. Epic. So why don't we go ahead and close up our vote here for Wednesday. Because it does look like we do have a winner here. And we definitely do. It's it's increased since the stream started today. So instant coffee is our winner for... And so, I'm going to be using instant coffee to make dinner and dessert on Wednesday. And if you would like to make suggestions, I'll start a new vote on Wednesday. If you would like to have your ingredient considered, or make some opinion on which one of these ingredients are in the list we should do, please come into the Discord and make your votes be known. You're welcome to add your own suggestions. We have some basic guidelines up here towards the top. Back to sauteing stuff here. I'm gonna cut the heat on this. We're gonna pull all of this out of the pan temporarily.
Turn the heat back on over here. Yeah, that's about perfect. And we're gonna add some butter in there. Mmm, butter. heat down so we don't turn this into brown butter I'm trying to anyways cast iron pan still too hot and to that we're going to add some flour and start a roux here This is actually a pretty good consistency for a roux. You want it to be looking a bit like wet sand. It's, this looks like wet sand to me. And to this, I make ice cubes of chicken stock when I make chicken stock. So we're gonna add some chicken stock in here, but just a little bit three ice cubes. I haven't done a volume measure on these. My old ones, I used to know they were just slightly less than an ounce. These ones are larger, so I don't know what exact amount that I'm adding in there, but that's... I doubt that's over four ounces. We'll let those melt down in that hot pan, and the rear will thicken it. wait until we have enough liquid in here that we can add some dairy in there. I don't want to add it straight to the pan. Have it immediately start thickening and break. So let those melt down for a moment. Sometimes you just gotta, yeah, absolutely. Sometimes you just gotta know it's gonna work. Uh, it, it's like emulsions, generally, you're making a mayo, you're making a hollandaise. Uh, you can trust the science like that I do with the immersion circulator, but you gotta have like this confidence about it when you're working with emulsion. Otherwise it just knows and it breaks. Like if you're being timid, it, 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 ain't, it ain't taking it. I turned the heat down too far on this. Now oh, we got some more heat there. Okay, to this I'm gonna add some dairy. We'll add some half and half in here. Don't wanna splash that around too much. <clears throat> it's 
Scramble first, SoCal. Let's switch to a whisk here. I think that's going to be a little bit better for getting this all incorporated. And I'm going to add some water to this as well. Nice! That was about a cup of water. Now we'll bring that up to a boil. That'll thicken too. That'll that's gonna turn just the way it was here a couple minutes ago. It's gonna be nice and thick. Nice and thick. Do a little quick cleanup while we're waiting on that to rewarm up. By the way, the water was exactly what I needed. I'm feeling much better now. Just need some water. I have all that bread and stuffing. Too much chuck. Yeah, I only drank half of that bottle of wine last night. I might finish that off later. Um, we'll see. Starting to get there. Got a light boil going here. But I think that's going to be nice for the rest of this once we add everything back in here. I think we've got a good combo here. So I'm going to add these badgies back in here. We're just going to allow this all to simmer. Be yummy. <laughs> oh, my kitchen, my fridge is a mess right now. Eh. 
And so while that's simmering on the stove, We'll start pulling the meat off of this chicken. Welcome in, UF Mark.
Gotta get that oyster meat. Both sides. Most tender piece of meat in the bird. Well, actually, I don't know if that's true, but it packs some flavor. You don't want to skip it. Poor spoon. You mean my spatula in the... You know, it's almost like the scramble knows what I'm doing. It's got its AI of its own, I guess. I don't know. There's still lots of good meat here, but the rest of this I'm going to package up and use this for stock. Yeah, it's a high heat silicone. That is cooking a bit hot though, so we'll turn that down and we'll go back to... Yeah, 600 sounds a little high. Not much, but I know it's at least like 450, 500 silicone will normally take without an issue. And then you have the really cheap ones that don't handle heat really at all. But you, can't, you can have silicone that just really doesn't handle heat. Those are usually the ones that are like nasty cheap blends just gonna throw this in the fridge or in the freezer
Just wanted to make sure it wasn't huge chunks. I don't care if they're I don't care if they're that big. I just don't really want them much larger than that. These are these ones that I have are on my Amazon list of recommended products, products that I've tried. So if anyone's interested in the specific one, you can probably type exclamation mark Amazon and you should be able to find it in that list. That looks like some pot pie filling to me. We gotta add some herbs, we gotta add some peas in there. You gotta get that green in there. But otherwise, I think we're set with that. I'm gonna let that just stay warm on the stove, rewarm all that chicken, just make it all happy, sort of like leaving the stuffing in the fridge a day early so it gets all that flavor. We're just gonna let that all hang out together. In the meantime, I'm gonna make some dough. Like, flour dough, not money dough. I'm sorry folks, I just told you guys all to hit up my Amazon list when the bot back in the living room isn't working right now. <laughs> I think I'm logged in here, aren't I? No, I'm not. I'm not going to log into Amazon while I'm online, while I'm streaming. I'm gonna have to get verification codes and all that fun jazz and it's just a pain to do when you're on stream. Yeah, about the cuisine is just not being very helpful tonight. Um, sadly, the other PC, I mean, <laughs> I've literally got my CPU cooler sitting on top of my desk right now, completely detached. It, it, I have completely taken that computer apart. Let's see, is this going to fit into that larger pan? Yeah. That'll do fine, I think. Let's get some flour. We need oh, it's pizza flour. Double low, we need some bread flour. We need some bread flour. Last 30 seconds, get units on the battlefield. It's probably with the delay already too late.
I should have been weighing this because even though I'm doing volume for this part, I need the weight of that flour. So this is how I make Blitz puff pastry, which is not a traditional puff pastry. It's like a cross between biscuit dough and pastry. So we got 131 grams there which means we want 131 grams of water. Something black in my water there. little bit over on the water. We can live with that though. A little mixing is possible, just shaking it, trying to get that water to absorb. <clears throat> we need some salt in there because we want it to taste like something. And since we're going savory, let's throw a little pepper in there too. I'm gonna allow that to sit for a little bit and absorb that moisture. And I'm going to throw it in the fridge while I prep my butter. Oops. Here, catch chap. teamed up on tonight. To start, yeah, by weight. Not by volume, by weight. Two parts whole wheat, one part baking or pastry, or uh, cake flour, some, some sort of lighter protein. Or you could just do all AP. Uh, I like a little bit more the flavor that the heavier wheat gives, but uh, with the amount of protein in it, it gets heavy. It, it doesn't want to rise as well. We want to keep this butter cold.
and equal weight of butter. Hey, welcome back, Bon Buns. Did you change your name color? I don't remember it being red for some reason. Actually, no, it's purple. Sorry. Getting confused here with name colors because this chat that I look at over on this screen has custom colors depending on whether you're a follower, a sub, uh, all that sort of stuff versus the normal chat colors that are over here in my normal OBS. Now we're going to add our butter in here and we want to add individual pads in there and then sort of half fold them in as we go sturgeon we had someone talking about some oh that wasn't surgeon though that was another type of fish steak <laughs> okay so this is a sort of a wet dough at this point And we're going to, again, throw that back in the fridge, if only for a minute or two. You might get some peanut butter tomorrow. It has been a minute since I've had, I've had any peanut butter, really. I used to be a peep butter fanatic. I used to. <coughs> yeah. Spoonful. <laughs> you pregnant? I set up this scene just so that I can use it for like pasta and stuff. Actually, I named the scene pasta. Well floured counter, since we're working with a wet dough that's going to want to stick to just about everything. And do we have bench scraper ready? That was not what I wanted to happen with my spatula. Spatula down! Spatula. <laughs> Our wet, sticky, buttery dough. Out on the counter here. Wash my hands so my hands are wet.
Did it? Was it following the bowl or something? Can't hide the view now. And we're late on flour. I made this too wet, even though I did by weight. I've done this recipe many, many times, so it's not a, it's, it's more me knowing what this is supposed to be like right now versus what it is. But we're slowly trying to completely enrobe all of that butter in the dough. But it's good that our butter is staying in nice whole pieces. That's what we want, too. We want it staying cold, staying whole, and that way it's still solid when it goes into the oven and it generates that steam we need. And this goes back in the fridge. Just like that. Still not completely coating that butter yet. We're not really smashing any of that butter up yet. We're not worrying about making that perfectly flat in our folding yet. That was just our first run. Take a look at our stew over here on the stove. Make sure that's still doing lovely here. Still breaking up some of those pieces that I told you were perfectly fine. Apparently they're not. But we're going to do some herbage in there now. Bit of freeze dried thyme. try for flavoring. See if I think we need any garlic, if we need any heat, if we need any acid. Just a little bit everything there. I could use a little hit of cayenne. And salt. Why not? 
MSG and pepper too. Love that new pepper grinder. That it does, Darth. I keep forgetting that. Thank you for reminding me. Let's do our battle. Awesome, lots of archers. A lot of ranged support tonight. Steven the Calm and Lin J getting them kills and assists. Victory. Victory. Uh, three rewards here tonight. Hot as you have Mark, SoCal Ozzy, all getting some scrolls to take home. On to that gold to er, is this the gold chest or is it further on there? Arr, what are we going to put out there this time? I think I'm going to go with a barbarian, actually. I think I'm going to go right side. Shoot for the most enemies to go after first there. Excuse me. Perfect. Body liking that chicken. Mm, what else we got going on tonight? Continuing to just do fold overs, book folding, rolling it out, and reflowering it. So we do a couple of folds, throw it in the fridge. A couple of folds, throw it in the fridge. And while we're waiting on that, yeah, I think I'm going to do a couple more dishes here. How's everyone doing tonight? Anything new or exciting to report out there in the chat? Any... I don't know. Beyond the lovely announcements we've already had, the 
nearing construction completions of, and other lovely things. Absolutely. Long distance relationship? Just been away for a bit or? Okay, so it's it's a distance, but it's not across the earth or something like that. But eight hours is still decent drive. That's oldest son had to move back with us today because he got evicted from his apartment. Ooh, I'm sorry to hear that, Darth. That's a bummer. Great pause. Welcome in. How you been? Yeah. Yeah. Um, things are tight for some people right now, and I apologize. Busy, busy's good. <coughs> busy's just getting things done. Take a look at the lemons here, see if we got any liquid down here. Oh, we got a little liquid already at the bottom of this. You can see it on the sides of the jar now. What I should do is put the date on that. I have all these rolls of masking tape that I never use anymore. What's in the jar? This is my first project of the day. These are lemons that I picked off of my dwarf... Uh, these are Meyer lemons from my dwarf Meyer lemon tree in the back of the yard. And I am salt preserving them to hold on to them for the better part of the rest of the year. And so they're gonna hang out in this jar, just room temp with all that lovely salt for three to four weeks. And they'll continue to lose moisture. And then after three to four weeks, you can throw it in the fridge. use them as lemons but that way I don't have to worry about keeping them fresh uh, you can leave lemons on the tree and they'll stay pretty decent for a couple of months but I didn't want to do that Thirty first. It's the end of the month.
And actually, shaking that released quite a bit more liquid. Uh, the recipe I read suggested mashing them all down. I, I'm not a big fan. I, I cut them pretty well. We're going to get salt in all those cuts and crevices. Well, when you cure them like that, you can just throw the peel in with them because the, the pith sort of breaks down with the salt and it's still there, but it's not as bitter. But it's great. I mean, I bought these. I had this was actually an ingredient challenge last year, and so I bought two jars of them. And you can just dice them up and throw them into things, and they give a great flavor. They're salty, but it just means you have to take the salt out elsewhere. You still have a flame under there, barely. No stickage. That's good. I think I'm going to cut up a little parsley here to throw in our... If I have any left. I only got a little bit. Oh, that looks like a cheesy word to me. Is there an eye? I don't see an eye. I don't know what that is either. I was thinking that was Mexican cocha cheese, but which has a J and a T. I think it has an I instead of an E. It's not my normal herb cutting knife, but I'm gonna live with it. <laughs> yeah, it's almost Tecate. The beer. But I don't think that's in the dictionary. I don't have many like brand names in there. That's something I should add in there. That would be a nice addition to it. Did you try... Did you type uh, exclamation mark scramble, Jake Balls? Great boss. Need to do that in order to have it try and work properly. Some little parsley in there. Just to add some green color to the whole thing. And some good flavor. I'm not, I'm not just adding it just for color. Sort of interesting Parsley's history, if you've read Parsley's history or know... Like, it used to be like a palate cleanser. Like, it was originally put on your plate as like, you know, you chew on it after you're done because it, it sort of cleanses your palate of eating heavy food. Catch ya. I was close. I think that's a cheese too. I think it's just different spelling of it. Oh no, it's not. Ooh, that looks yummy. That looks like something I need to try. Dulce de leche, but made with goat milk. Oh, that sounds delicious. I 
I'm gonna buy a bot, uh, some more of that butter sometime. Uh, goat butter. If you've ever tried, haven't tried goat butter, try some goat butter sometime. Like, it's it's pricey. Like we have it here. Like the price of it is for like a half pound is comparable to a pound of butter. But uh, there's an artisan brand, I forget the name of it here, it has a silver label, silver and purple label. It's uh, just got great flavor. I love using that for like just bread and just very simple things. Uh, I wouldn't use it cooking a lot because I would feel I was wasting the money of, you know, I don't think the flavor translates between that and just normal butter, but on some bread or with some other goodies or something like that, definitely worth a try. Back to playing with bread. Or it's not even bread, it's dough. But it is now got a little bit of a structure gone. It's starting to work the gluten even though we haven't worked the butter that much. The butter even like this is melting more than I want it to. Put the flour away. Oh, hi there, camera. Over here. <laughs> Carry gold, some good stuff. I have the luxury of having uh, organic, good pasture raised butter here from Clover and Strauss, actually. Strauss makes a great butter. They're Usually a little too, I mean, it's one of those things where it's a great butter for baking because it's got a really nice high fat percentage to it. It's more like a European butter, but for the price and everything, I don't want to use that for everything. So I, I use Clover, it's a bit cheaper, but it doesn't have all that lovely fat. So now the butter is starting to deform a bit, so we definitely need to get this back in the fridge. But as you can see, that is looking much more like a proper dough at this point than that shaggy mess that I had when I first started doing this. And actually I think I'm going to throw this in the freezer this time. You deep fry in lard, huh? Do you, do you have like a deep fryer that you keep lard in? Or do you um, pan fry or... I've actually sort of been debating the idea of getting myself a proper fryer, but... Then we get into, do I have a camera to watch it? It would be safer than... Well, I do have fire extinguisher off camera just over the corner here and other safety precautions having that heater keep that at a constant temperature without me turning around and talking to chat or something might be a little bit safer You stored in deep breath fryer. Okay. <laughs> so 
So tell me, what all do you fry in lard? What, what, what interesting and exciting items have you tried out there? We do have the sub goal, I think it's 75. What is it? Let's look. Oh, it's 150. That's the, the second goal. Um, do you have the goals? I have three of them. I will say I'm here on chat. Uh, I have three sub goals right now. I have a 75 subscriber one where we'll do an extra stream to do a spaghetti hot dog, spaghettio hot dog and green olive gelatin. Um, and I will try that on stream. Hopefully, well, it would have to chill. So I'll try it next stream after that. But, uh, and then at 150, which was what I was saying is why, why I was bringing this up is at 150 subscribers. I'm going to do a deep fried butter on a stick and deep fried chocolate or chocolate covered bacon. Uh, and if we ever get up to 200 subscribers, I'm going to dye some of my hair. Buffalo wings most. That's a good one. I, I prefer my wings fried to baked. Don't tell anyone that goes to Buffalo Wild Wings that they're baked. Um, French rings, under rings, Oreo, <laughs> Oreos, the funnel cake. Nice. I don't know that I've made a funnel cake. I don't know that I've done that. I think I've done something close to that. I have such a horrible memory. Hmm. So we're just hanging out here for a moment, letting that cool down. I'm thinking that I'm going to make my pot pie. In this bad boy tonight. And we'll use pot, uh, puff pastry instead of that. That's just going to be safer down here. Just the top. This is going to be a light and it's, I mean, all the butter, it's going to poof up. It's going to, if I wanted to do a bottom crust, I would probably do, and this is the way most pot pies are actually done, is you have more of like a pie crust for your bottom crust. And your top when you're doing something with a little more leavening to it. Or maybe you don't. Some people don't put leavening in the tops of their pies. But I run out of music? What do we got going on here? Wow. We went through our playlist. I don't understand that one. I'm royally confused because this jazz track has four and a half hours of music on it. And we've been streaming for two and a half? and somehow made it through that playlist? Oh, 
Um, yeah, I did, actually. I'm pretty sure I did. I think I started playing it before the stream started, though. But not by, like, a couple minutes. But yeah, you were in here early, Darth. You would know. You were in here, like, first thing tonight. Okay, maybe, yeah. Something happened. No, I'm not doubting you really. Well, I was pretty sure I put that on, but I do know that I changed something, so. In other news, I deleted Spotify. Following the crowd. Well, if you've been watching the news lately. Um, several old school singers, including uh, the boss's guitarist, and uh, I'm forgetting, Johnny Mitchell, and um, I'm forgetting the one that started it all off, but they're all taking their music off of Spotify because they don't believe with what Joe Rogan is promoting as far as vaccines and health. And so there's, if, if you check on Twitter, you know, ditching Spotify or getting rid of Spotify, bye-bye Spotify or something along that line's been trending for like three days now. And I had Spotify and a number of things. I sort of, I'm not, well, I agree with them. I, I, we're sort of at that. I also sort of feel like we're at the tail end of the whole uh, Omicron thing. And so yes, Neil Young. Yeah, Neil Young made the decision that if they were going to advocate and pay so much money to someone to advocate that you shouldn't be getting vaccinated or you shouldn't be. And I'm, I'm not saying everyone has to be vaccinated, but to be spreading that so publicly, I can agree with them. It is stupidity. It's not a political thing. It's science. <laughs> All right, so we're doing our final rollout actually here on our dough. Oh, he signed a exclusive contract with Spotify. They're paying him a hundred million a year to do his thing there.
I'm just doing this weird fold to try and get it to be a bit more circular. and end up making it perhaps even more square. okay with that. Let's finish up our stew. Let's bring that temperature back up on this and let's add in some frozen peas because I didn't want to cook the peas this whole time. They're just going to get dark and meh. I don't, I doubt he's going to topple, and basically his response was, yeah, so what? At least that's what I took from it. I mean, he, he I'll let people make their own opinions when it comes to that, but he, he basically was like, I do my research, so meh. And it's sort of like, the man just sits, as far as I'm concerned, the man just sits there and asks questions and defers to the guy off to his side if he has to take an opinion on anything. That was a quick one. Whoop! -do. Victory. Who's gonna get that 200 gold? Pata, Mummy Frog helping out with those assists. Linjay and SoCal Ozzy getting those rewards. Linjay with that 200 gold. That's a nice pickup. There's like two levels. And we're going to take the bottom route so we can go for this blue chest. <laughs> I want to put my berserker out there. <coughs> and see what we get. So we got the heat up on our chicken. Let's add those peas in there.
turn the oven on here so we can bake our pot pie. And wait for those green peas to pop bright green as they cook here. Do you want to make sure you do cook those peas though too because frozen peas are like straight from the field. I'm, I'm sure they've been washed a half dozen times but they're still straight from the field so do you got to bring them up to temp and make sure that there ain't any contaminants or anything going on there. Um, I mean they may have been washed a dozen times but maybe they were carried in an open top truck and some bird did their business on top of the truck. Uh, it's actually why a fair number of spices are the worst sources of contamination in kitchens. Um, some of the biggest numbers in E. coli studies and stuff like that are like ground pepper and things that are, you know, just open air dried where animals can do their stuff near them. I can honestly say that I am not one of them. And what little I have consumed of Joe Rogan's stuff has been on YouTube and not on Spotify. I went and used my apple core to pop out a little air hole for our pie. It's got a cute little hole in the center of it. Let's give this one more stir. Getting a little whiff of steam here and there. I think we're getting pretty close here. Oh, that wasn't up very high. We'll give that another moment. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to feel that way too, Spark. I mean. I always assumed that I would have hair like my grandfather where he had hair until the day he died, but it was thin and he definitely had some widow's peaks. Um, thinking of my grandfather on my dad's side, even though it's the old saying was it was grandfather from your mother's side, but my hair reminds me of my grandfather on my dad's side. some bubbling going. Now we're getting there. Alright. Alright. Fill up our other pot here.
Congrats on that, because, yeah, I ain't been anywhere near married. We're just waiting on our oven to finish preheating here. Maybe should have turned that on a minute or two earlier. Quite possibly. <laughs> Are mushrooms common in a pot pie? I wouldn't say that they're uncommon. Uh, probably not as large and as prominent as the ones that I did. Actually, normally I would cut them smaller like everything else, but I was lazy and just bought them pre-cut. Uh, actually, because I was planning to use them for something else and used them in the pot pie instead. Cause it'd be lovely in there. To be honest, I don't know what the true, like, classic pot pie is. Cause there's so many. It's more like a type of food than it is. You know, it's more like saying that you're having tacos instead of saying what type of taco or pizza without saying what the toppings are. To me, the pot pie is much more, and I don't think of a pot pie as really having a bottom crust. I mean, there are plenty of meat and savory pies that I think of, of having a bottom, a, a full crust and being like a full pie. But the name to me, pot pie in a pot. It's in a pot. But that's, I mean, that's something that I have a problem with with food, too. Is, I, I have a problem with this in life, too, but when does a definition matter? Um, what is authentic because even authentic food was stolen from someone else. <laughs> um, we've been making food for thousands of years. There, there's not a whole, you know, innovation going on. There's a little bit, but it's a little bit. Yep. Like in a tin or something like that. Yeah. Debating putting this crust back in the fridge here for another minute while we wait on this. And actually, do I have any tins here? At home? I think I got rid of all my tins, or they're maybe in the trailer. The Popeyes were one of the things that I made as far as my business. It, Towards the end, towards the end of the business, when I was trying to make things work the way I wanted it to work, uh, I started doing a lot more hot foods instead of the original concept was I wanted to do all packaged to go foods, 
based off of what the farmers were bringing. And that expanded into coffee, and then that expanded into hot, ready-to-eat foods. And pot pies was one of those, because, you know, this was not, this was an hour of my time, maybe. And I could put all sorts of different things, whatever was available in it. Clean out my cast iron here while I'm at it. Maybe we'll have a night without dishes tonight. This is looking pretty good for being a low dish night. Which is good because that'll hopefully give me time to get into that computer between now and Wednesday. Sort of depends on how far along I get with that one tonight. Alright, so let's try putting our dough on there. And I'm going to push it down in. I'm going to let it hang out down in there. And hopefully with the rise, it'll be over the top. I'm debating if I want to... Yeah, let's egg wash that. Camera gave up on me at the moment. I haven't quite figured out its magic. It decides to stop following me at times. And... Yeah. I don't know why. And But sometimes it'll immediately pick back into it. I don't know if it's because I come out of frame? It doesn't seem to be because I left frame. No, well, it just stops tracking. It's not like it's tracking something else right now. There's actually an LED indicator that goes between blue and green on it. And when it's green, it's... Actually, it's a little funky because when you start it up and it's first getting going, it starts off blue, but blinking blue. And then once it's running, it's green. And then if you push the button to have the tracking turn on, which you have to turn it on, uh, it turns blue again. So it's, it's either green or blue. So we're going into the oven with that loveliness. 400 degrees. So I'm not quite sure. It's it's like it's... I don't know if it's I stand still for too long and it just like... Okay, we're just going to sit here. But that doesn't make sense because... It hasn't happened tonight. But the last stream... It was cutting off like this every once in a while. And it... 
came back several times. So it was sort of weird. Sort of weird. There's not a ton of documentation on it either. It's like one of those modern, uh, it seems today like you're, you're lucky if you get a QR code to look up things online, much less the manual anymore. Not that I would have read the manual, I would have looked up online, but... It's like my new cell phone. I got a Pixel 6, uh, the larger one, and it uh, basically came with nothing but a little pamphlet of legal info. There was like no documentation at all. Is it a heat sensor? Don't think there's anything to do with heat. I'd certainly not. We're certainly not attempts in this room where we're worried about electronics being too hot. They can handle a lot more heat than I can. Eleven minutes on stream readers. That's actually gonna be pretty good time wise here. I didn't set a timer for my pie. We're gonna take a look at that pie in 14 minutes. So you're seeing the temperature of the room is matching my body heat temperature. Which, that's probably more realistic. I don't know who noticed, but I did crack open the window here. Yeah, I really don't know the technology behind this thing, though it does have, like, a full... F I mean, it's got a bigger camera on it than my my camera does. TFM? That sounds like an acronym I mildly know, but I'm not sure. <laughs> well, that's where what I was saying there is no manual. They just want to tell you it's magic. They just want to say it, it uses AI. I forgot my wine. I wasn't really meaning I was going to drink it on stream, but we can pour a glass. How did I forget my glass of wine? Welcome in, x -Bye.
I'm not really eating dinner yet, so it's not like I'm missing. I was really enjoying this wine yesterday, though. It was just me. Me. Pretty good, x -Pi. How's Trovo treating ya? Just saw someone else start doing stuff on Trovo the other day. Let's let that warm up a little bit from the refrigerator. <laughs> ABV of that wine. It's a cab, so it's probably not ridiculous. 14.5. Yeah, that's not too bad. It's it's up there for a red, but it's not those uh, Napa cabs that were in 15, 16s. This is one that I don't think I did for this wine. I normally try and show you folks this. Use a plain white background. See how much it shows through. It doesn't really show through well on camera. And that's pretty pitch black even to me in person. That is a pretty dark wine. Um, and to me, I've said this on stream, I don't know, it's sort of what I was taught. I, I, I haven't read a whole lot into wine lately, and so I don't know if this is really the truly thinking anymore. I don't know if any, I mean, most of the stuff I know about wine is from school, so th it's like over a decade old at this point. Um, was that the more darker or the mo more opaque, uh, you can't see through it, wine is the more likely it is to be able to handle aging. And so if you want to find reds that you can age, you want ones that are darker, more harder to see through. But yeah, it's too cold still. I'm mostly just getting tannins and, and uh, alcohol there. Do I have a port? I had a port for a while there. I do not. Must have went through it. I have the habit of doing that. I like picking up a bottle of Tawny every now and then. You notice me getting cheerful with it? I don't know that I was really cheerful last night. It's certainly not as syrupy as port. I'm gonna hold it. I was. How so? <laughs> That's a good time, Darth. I agree with that.
I'm sort of regretting pulling the wine out now, though, because it's too cold. And I'm looking in that liquor cabinet at that bottle of Frenet. Or Frenet, Frenet. How do you pronounce that properly? I, I... It's one of those weird drinks that's. It's like Jägermeister, where it's so dense and so complex that the only way you can really enjoy it is to open it up somehow. I have no kids in somewhere other than my house. <laughs> Let's see, we got anyone guiding the raid tonight? We're not quite there yet, but open to suggestions. <laughs> Need to find yourself a place to hide, X-Pi. that I just saw has moved over to Trovo recently. I think it was someone actually in food and drink. I have no interest in going over to Trovo. My apologies, x -Pi. But, uh, I, I've just sunk too much time here into Twitch that Yeah. That's when you turn it on do not disturb mode and then only pick up the phone calls that you care about. <laughs> I get into trouble with that occasionally myself actually because I'm usually really good about answering my phone. But I do turn it on do not disturb when I'm sleeping. And there's been occasion or two where family member or something was trying to get a hold of me and I just wasn't available. Let's do our battle here. Went and placed that haste without even showing anyone. Oh, no, I, um, I just didn't want to say that I wasn't intrigued with... But it does seem to be a growing platform, unlike... I don't even remember the name of the other one that opened up last year. Kill a mesh. Victory. You have Mark getting them kills. Lin J helping out with the assists. Got another three rewards out there. SoCal getting the scrolls along with Gaia and Lin J. Congrats, folks. Down to the blue chest. Um, but we're going to call it there. We are done with Stream Raiders for tonight. Got a little less than a minute until our timer's up. Let me take a little premature check and see how it's looking. Oh, 
Nope, that's gonna need some more time. Actually gonna give that a whole 10 minutes more. <coughs> they used to average me, I used to make pot pies about that big, so they were not nearly as large as the piece of dough that I'm heating up now. And they used to take me 15 to 20 minutes then. I started this at 15. Actually, I started at 14 because I started it late. But I, I think we're going to need probably a good 10 minutes because I didn't see... I saw beginnings of lift, but I saw no browning. And I certainly didn't see a, a dough that was cooked. <laughs> I'm sorry, x -Pi. You're just getting... Everyone's interested in chatting with you tonight. We don't have third. Well, let's do one more. I'm going to do Centarian this time. Yeah, they're 30 minutes. It's gonna take me at least another 10 to maybe bake this, and I actually wanna say that it's probably gonna take me 15 because it is a larger piece of dough. Um, though this is taking longer than initially hoped. Uh, so 30 minutes, I think we can do that between, we'll, we'll pull it out, we'll sh do some photos, we'll break into it for everyone to see what it looks like breaking into and uh, plate everything, take photo of the plates. We, we got 30 minutes to hang out. We'll, we'll be stretching things a little bit, but you know, it's like, what else am I gonna do? Go sit down in front of my PC and watch no pixel? I can't, my PC's broke. So hey, I'm procrastinating fixing my PC. So it is starting to smell a bit better back there. Got me wondering if maybe I should take another look at that. But no, it's not going to be ready in just the... Yeah. Hasn't even been five minutes. No pixel! Check out the mod app. Not sure what the mod app is. Oh, you mean... The mod view, like, of chat? I don't normally have that open, to be honest. The audio on my browser is always sort of funky, and so I hate opening things on Twitch because... Oh! Okay, Ozzy. What is this no pixel I speak of? Um, only the most viewed and popular streams here on Twitch, um, which would be the GTA RP, 
the top streamers are all on one server called No Pixel. Um, they've went, gone and taken GTA and turned it into essentially a full fledged real city with 200, 300 people playing at once. Um, I mean, they got, I mean, a lot of the GTA RP is just cops and robbers sort of stuff. Whereas No Pixel, you have full fledged businesses, you have full fledged, uh, judges and court cases and it it's it, I am I've been addicted actually for a couple of years now I don't talk about it a ton on stream but I very much enjoy watching I sort of think of it as, as like soap operas I sort of just have it on in the background as I'm doing stuff around the house all day <laughs> yeah and and it the really intriguing thing it's sort of like a if you ever re read one of those choose your own, own adventure books it really is sort of like that because you can watch a bank robbery or whatever going on or a court case or everything you can switch between the judge's perspective the, the prosecutor the defense and they all have different perspectives and they all hate each other. <laughs> but it's all based out of a video game, so it's... And it's a video game, so it's not 100% real, but... That's good, x -Pi. We don't like bad. Bad's bad. Oops, whoa. We got that butter smoking. Um, they're on Twitch, they're on Facebook, um, they're on, is there YouTubers on NoPixel? Probably are, but, um, if you look on Twitch, XQC, the top streamer on Twitch, does a fair amount of time on Pixel, NoPixel, he does all sorts of stuff, but, um, other names to look, um, Buddha, B-U-D-D-H-A, uh, Dwight D W J something T. Um. Oh, it is still no. It it still is invite only. Uh, they basically they have a a donation system where. Essentially, everyone playing on the server is donating to NoPixel because, yeah, Summit 1G, he's actually doing another swing here through it soon. Um, he was playing the other night. But it's... I forgot what I was talking about before that. <laughs> Completely spaced on that. Which wine is that again? This is a Cab Sav from Educated Guess. It's a Northern California Coast red wine. Oh yes, donations to play. That is because it's GTA's game, sort of like DMCA. They can't profit off of GTA um, legally. And so, in order to make a operation where, I mean, it's not just the people playing the game. You have situations where you have 20 to 30 admins that are on at any time just managing the server. 
Uh, you have even more, you have at least as much, if not more, devs. Um, there are tons of people that are working in this, and so, and several of them are full-time employees. We got some smoke going there. Let's hope we don't have a burnt top to this. Um, like, they've even gone to the point where they can't even, like, have people sponsor things in the game because of that. And so, like, they've had offers from major companies to sponsor things in the game, like, just have trucks driving around with their logos and stuff in the game, and they can't do it because of the legalities. That is looking yum, <laughs> yummy to me, too. We're going to have to let this cool down a little bit, though. It has pulled away from the sides nicely. We do have a nice crust to it. Got a little liquid coming up over the top of it here. I should grab my phone. I think my, charge, my phone's been charging this whole time. No. Yeah, I don't use them much though, x -Pi. I usually use a broom and a mop we're looking good but I want to let that sit a couple minutes to finish there's gonna be absorption going on there's gonna be settling going on so I'm not gonna break into that first thing <laughs> it's been a while since I've done a shepherd's pie or a cottage pie, too. That's on the list for... That's sort of on the list of things that are going to happen after we finish the beef. We're getting close. Do I have anything else left in the freezer here to do? Or I gotta pull more stuff out again? Yeah, I gotta go pull more beef out. I gotta make plans for Friday and Sunday this upcoming week. St. Patrick's Day is nearing. Maybe. We can maybe do Shepherd's Pie for that. Um, we also have, beginning of March, we have Pancake Day that I wanna do something for. It's on, the, it's on a Tuesday, though, so I'm thinking I'm going to celebrate National Pancake Day on the last day of February instead of the first day of March. Taco bread and filling. I've certainly made my own tortillas, flour tortillas here at home. 
I haven't done corn tortillas, but I've said many times now that if I'm doing corn tortillas, I want to do the masa for the corn tortillas. And that's an undertaking. Um, it's also not something I've done before, so it'd be a sort of an adventure. <coughs> I think we're getting there with the temp of this. I think we can maybe break into that. What are we putting into, though? What are we eating out of tonight? This has become one of my favorite serving spoons. It's just so, I, I use it for flour too. It's one of my largest scooping spoons, although it's relatively flat. Do we break into it? got some layers we got some layers Sort of sad that I can't see the layers very well for the photo. Uh, maybe we can. Nice close up here. Do I have a straight main view? I don't. Hmm. Guess we'll go main zoom. Let's see if that works for this. Not a great angle. Oh, my socials aren't working tonight either. We, we don't have everyone finding my links from my Discord, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, I have still been lacking on Instagram. It's actually been about two weeks since I posted on Instagram. I'm actually sort of thinking I might take a little bit of a break with it and maybe come back and change up how I've been posting stuff on there. Uh, been regularly posting photos in Discord, so you can of course see the photos for this in the Discord a little bit later tonight. <clears throat> and realizing that this is completely off center on me. Yeah. 
So should we hang out here for the last 11 minutes and wait for this game? Or should we do finish this game off stream? Also open to any guiding the raid suggestions. <laughs> I'm the host. Yeah, but I do have... I've actually been greatly enjoying people recommending uh, other streamers. It's it's. I've greatly enjoyed the names that have been recommend recommended. And it's sort of cool for the people that recommend it because I try to tell the streamer I neglect. Sorry, last night if you're in here right now, but Hazel Tari, um, not to call you out, but. She lovely guided the raid last night, and I forgot to mention to El Chosen One that she did so. Okay, I gotta try. I've had some of this already to tuck that was okay, but I'm not gonna sit here and just not eat this. can't do that here. Careful, Darth. You can get, you can get addicted to that stuff. The uh, current drama going on right now is one of the gangs, uh, chain gang, in the city, which. They're primarily all off on Facebook, so I don't really watch them a lot. But they were sort of, there was some management decisions or something with the role play that they didn't want them, or they were gonna block them from doing this heist. It, it's ridiculous the amount of drama that goes on. Nice. So I think we can hang out for seven minutes here. I know when I was a kid it was EverQuest. <laughs> I would not be surprised. <laughs> I'll bite though, Darth. What's the leading cause? Marriage? Yep. That works. You could do, uh, getting married in Vegas, too. That's even higher percentage. <laughs> mm. 
Mm. Darth is sounding like he really wants some alone time tonight. <laughs> Getting to the point where the wine's warming up and starting to taste a bit better. Eesh. Sorry to hear that, Darth. What can we do to make it better for you, bud? I hope it gets better then. Whatever the issue may be. I, I know you gave examples earlier. I was trying not to repeat. My experiences lately is it's almost a setup where it's almost like Yeah, I'm just not even gonna yeah. <laughs> mm. Financial stability is definitely one, but there's other reasons to get married. There's definitely good reasons to get married other than that. Though your definition of marriage may vary. It's sort of strange how, yeah, you know, let's not even get into that either. Um, let's see. Where are we heading off to? Oh, we got lots of help for this battle. I think we got this one. We, we, we still got another three minutes for people to get units on the battlefield. But we got an army. We have everyone basically ready for this war. Has everyone got their last units out there? We got anyone wanting to put last one last one in there within the last two minutes here? Or can we start this one up a little bit early? Okay, I'll wait for you, HUD. see who's who I can suggest to you for, for the people that haven't been on no pixel give me a second I'm gonna be right back I'm gonna run to the back oh 
back computer is taken apart. Um. Where is that emote from, SoCal? Why is this showing? Oh, it's showing me. Okay, people that I see probably on no pixel right now. Um, Sykuno, S Y K K U N O. Um, Anthony Z, uh, Whippy, W-H-I-P-P-Y, now he's an Australian with, um, let's see, who else is on, on all the time, Ray underscore C, and Uberhacks or Nova, those are all no pixel people that are on right now if you want to go. Check out what that's like. Okay, let's go with our battle. Pull eight seconds early there. I think we got it. We're losing a few, but 25 versus 10, I think we got that. Victory. Trong and Steve the Com getting the kills and assists. Darth walking away with the scroll. And we'll leave it there for tonight because we're going to go raid Halios. Suggestion from SoCal Ozzy. Uh, appreciate y'all joining me tonight. I, I had a lot of fun just chilling out, making some simple pot pie, but hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. Um, I hope you all have a great evening. And hope to see you back here for Wednesday for my ingredient challenge using uh, instant coffee. I'm going to figure out what the heck I'm going to do with instant coffee for dinner and dessert. So, hope you come back to join me for that. Until then, have a lovely time. Thank you and good night. <laughs>